everyone, Letty here. Today I'm going to share with you a Hobby Lobby haul along with a craft with me at the end of the video where we make some mini slimline cards using one of the new stamp sets that I just purchased and hauled in this video. So again, that was Hobby Lobby haul. The month is May. Um, the Paper Studio is 50% off. Um, and don't worry if you missed a sale every other week, Hobby Lobby has the Paper Studio for 50% off. I picked up some vellum. This is clear vellum. You get 25 sheets um, for basically $350. So I thought that was a good deal. Went ahead and picked up three packs. Then I got some of the metallic foil cardstock. I got the gold. You get 25 sheets. These end up being $3 a pack. I got the silver. And then I also got the rose gold. Again, these were all 50% off. So they ended up being $3 a piece. So again, I didn't think that was a bad deal. And then I did get some colored cardstock. These again are also $3. You get 50 sheets of these. They're 65 pound. You get five colors in each set. So you get 10 sheets of each color. Um, and I also got this second set, which is the macaroons. I, I'm not a huge fan of the quality of the cardstock, but the colors are just gorgeous. So I usually use it for layering. And then I found this. This is extra heavyweight cardstock. It was on sale for $4. It's 110 pound, um, which I thought was fantastic to make card bases look how gorgeous this is the the plus here is that it is only one sided so the other side is white which is perfect for card bases so again 110 pounds for four dollars i thought that was pretty awesome then I got some of these little uh, collection kits. These end up being $3 a piece. I got the Flamingo one. This was a repeat buy for me, um, but you'll see here in a bit, I'm gonna use this Flamingo paper for my project at the end of the video. And then I have Brushy Floral. This one looked new to me. I don't think I had this. It comes with a ton of pieces, some ephemera, of course, the 10 sheets of paper, some alpha stickers and some regular stickers. I thought that was, I thought these packs were just such an amazing deal for the price, three bucks. You can't beat it. Under the Sea, also $3. Here's a close up of the papers. They're, they're gorgeous you get some dimensional stickers you get some jemmies you get some regular stickers you get some alphas again you cannot beat this price three dollars and again don't worry if you missed the sale this week uh you can always get it in two weeks you know another week from now um they'll have it 50 percent off again here's a travel themed one look how cute these dimensional stickers are the papers are fun this reminds me of like a crepe paper collection um or yeah i believe it was crepe paper super fun this one's just called travel this one's called baby girl again this one looked new and this one has more of a like purple theme than like a pink traditional theme for baby girls um you see here you got some ephemera some stickers some alphas really cute i love these pastels and i really like how they used the purple as kind of the main color here so again just an awesome set three dollars and then they have this other one. This one's called Winter Wonder. I thought this one was new too. I don't think I had seen it. Um, you got some dimensional stickers, which are just gorgeous. You get some alphas, you get some regular stickers. Super fun, super, super fun. And of course you get the papers. And again, you get 10 sheets, two of each, of each sheet. So, and then they also had the spring shop on sale for 50% off. I bought four of these. I thought this was a, a pretty good deal. They ended up being $2 a piece. Um, and what I thought would be perfect for these was to store six by six. You see how it's perfect. You can fit all your six by six in this with a little bit of room to spare. They're 10.1 by 7.7 .7 .7 by 4.1 inches. So I thought that was perfect. And for $2, I thought you couldn't beat it um, because it's just perfect for those six by six paper pads. I did get a few extra items last week. The spring shop was still 50% off last week too. I got these for $2.50 got these little rainbow foam stickers. I thought they were gorgeous. I've already opened the pack. I've already sent some out in Happy Mail. I just thought these were so, so fun. I can't wait to do a project with that. Then last week, they also had the Sizzix, the dies, the stamps, everything for 40% off. What I thought was an amazing steal was this, the, the large pads. They ended up being $13.79. Um, they're the extra large uh, die cutting pads or, or plates to go in your like Sizzix or Big Shot machine. Look at this. This is like 14 inches because that's ruler right there that's 12 plus probably about another two so it's about 14 by six that is perfect for these long long dies especially for your slim line dies that don't necessarily quite fit in your regular uh, plates then this was 8.99 it's a little gift card holder and a little sentiment has two sentiments actually three sentiments that die, do die cut and a little uh shape as well for the top 11.99 these are the slimline dies i was not going to get these but then i saw the plates on sale and so i went ahead and got the slimline dies and the plates as, as well here's a stamp set by art impressions it was uh ended up being 8.39 look how cute these little kittens are usually i find 
same stamp set are like full-grown cats but this was like cute little kittens look how cute and then they have a huge little cat tree so super fun these were $5.99 I thought these would be perfect to stamp on the back of cards sometimes I like to just put a little extra thing on the back um, and all these would be perfect in fact I've already used this a ton um, and then this is the a, a Tracy Hay stamp set it was ended up being $5.99 I just thought these flamingos were so super cute um, and this is the stamp set that I'm going to be crafting with today so if you continue watching well we'll actually make some cards together i'm also using my lawn fawn stitch dies and then again i mentioned i'm taking out that flamingo paper this really cute uh, pink flamingo paper from this paper pack um, and we are going to make some cards today we're going to make 12 mini slim lines i already have everything prepped off camera i have my card bases i have my large card mats and then i have the smaller inlay mat that has the little uh, flamingo showcased on there i have already stamped i've also colored the images with just some alcohol markers really really basic i've added some uh, glossy accents to the beak to the hearts on the sides and then also to the little boots and then i did add two double two sentiments on it in hindsight i probably would have should have bumped one of the uh sentiments at the very top of the little sheet right here and then maybe the the second one at the very bottom but i i think it, it'll still turn out pretty good so let's go ahead and make the mini slimline cards. So I have everything ready to go. I have everything prepped. I have my card base. I'm going to go ahead and take one of the larger mats, which again, I have already die cut with my Lawn Fawn die. This is the larger one. This one's, I think, three inches by six inches. I'm just going to use my ATG tape runner just to quickly adhere this mat right in the center of my card base. And then I have my little uh, stitched sentiment that has my images, my stamped images. I'm going to go ahead and, and add that right in the center the dimensions for this top mat are five and three eighths by three and three eighths it's the next largest uh, die in this stackable set so i'm just going to lay that right in the center leaving a little peak of that paper kind of as a border all the way around so super cute so then i'm going to go ahead and just make the rest of these cards on camera just at super speed one of the things i'm going to try to do moving forward is when i do have a haul video that i share with you i will try to do some little project or project share at the end of the video so you can get some inspiration on some of the similar items a lot of times we we see the items in the packages um, and yes sometimes we are very much inspired but I think sometimes it also helps to see some examples of actual crafty projects using those items I know that's the way that I am sometimes I'll see a, 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 a stamp or an item and it, it doesn't even dawn on me how many ways you could use it until I see some crafty inspiration some projects and then it's like I have to have that you know um, so that is one of the things I'm going to try to do uh, moving forward as much as I can um, is I will try to include at least a project or a craft with me session just really quickly at the end of some of my haul videos whenever I do get that opportunity if seeing a little crafty inspiration at the end of the video helps for you as well uh, let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you do enjoy as well if that's something that you'd like to see a little bit more during the haul videos uh, again I'm going to try to do it but if it's something that uh, you absolutely love I may try to do it on every single one um, I feel like these cards come came together so quickly that it doesn't hurt to include them in the video so here are 12 mini slimline cards so super fun I did color of course uh, and stamp everything off camera but I think these came together super quickly and super fun um, this is again the Tracy Hay stamp set from my Hobby Lobby haul and a quick craft with me thanks for visiting everyone hope you subscribe like this video follow me on Instagram here are a couple videos I think you might enjoy and happy crafting Thank you.